The difficulty with colorectal cancer is in the early stages of the disease, there are often no symptoms at all. What I really want to impress upon people is the importance of noting symptoms early. And the symptoms consistent with colorectal cancer are rectal bleeding and a change in bowel habit. And that change in bowel habit could be a tendency towards looser stools or more frequent stools. A change in bowel habit towards constipation is not a good indicator of colorectal cancer. The difficulty with colorectal cancer in the context of our patients with chronic GI diseases is there's quite a bit of overlap between the symptoms. Um, a lot of patients suffer from irritable bowel symptom symptoms which can either be diarrhea or constipation predominant. And of course diarrhea, either a looser stool or more frequent stool, is one of the early symptoms of colorectal cancer. The symptoms I pay most attention to are weight loss. And, uh, and rectal bleeding, and in terms of signs, um, an iron deficiency anemia. So those are very good discriminators between irritable bowel syndrome and the symptoms of cancer. Other patients with inflammatory bowel disease can be harder, but these, general, these patients in general are under screening by their uh, local hospital and should be getting regular colonoscopies as part of their surveillance process. The first thing to do if you suspect colorectal cancer is to discuss that with your patient. And then you need to alert your local hospital as soon as possible. Um, and this should be done as part of the two-week wait lower GI suspected cancer pathway. Um, within every hospital there should be lower GI colorectal nurse specialists. They're a very easy port of call. Um, within a lot of hospitals we have GI registrars who are on call, both 9 to 5 banner, also in evenings and weekends, which are very useful point, points of advice. Early diagnosis of colorectal cancer is important because it is directly related to outcomes. If we catch colorectal cancer early, um, the five-year mortality, that is the patients will be alive in five years, is approximately 90%. However, if the disease is more progressed, that five-year mortality can go down to 10%. So it is vital that we catch these patients early. And with early colorectal cancer screening, if we identify polyps within their bowel, those polyps that are not cancers yet can be removed and be prevented from becoming cancers. Colorectal cancer is an issue for London, but it's an issue for everywhere. It's an issue worldwide. Um, specifically for London, our data doesn't um, reflect as well as around the country because of some lo localised areas of uh, socio-economic deprivation. Patients, therefore, um, present later, tell their GPs about their rectal bleeding or change of bowel habit rather later than they normally would do. Colorectal cancer screening is an important part of um, reducing the mortality related to this disease. And unfortunately, because of our demographics within London, our uptake for colorectal cancer screening is not as good as elsewhere in the country.